As many of you were taught in history class, the United States and the Soviet Union during the Cold War had a nuclear arms race. Then they slowly but surely agreed that too many nukes is a bad thing, and they worked to get rid of them slowly but surely, with a few notable exceptions. However, what happens in 1991 when the Soviet Union breaks up into several new republics? Just like the United States, the Soviet Union used its massive size and power to keep the nuclear weapons scattered across the country, so that way they had multiple options to fire from. While Russia takes up most of the former Soviet Union, all of this leftover land became new republics. So naturally, some of these countries were going to end up with some nuclear weapons. Those countries were Ukraine, Belarus, and Kazakhstan. There were suddenly three new nuclear powers. While Belarus had only 81 warheads, Kazakhstan had 1,400 nuclear weapons, and Ukraine had over 5,000. This gave Ukraine the third largest nuclear arsenal in the world. Now, if you saw my short video over South Africa's nuclear weapons, South Africa was the only country to voluntarily dismantle its nuclear arsenal completely. So how did these three countries lose their nuclear weapons? Well, two reasons. The first reason is with the Cold War finally over, the idea of nuclear disarmament became a possibility. It was a popular optimistic idea at the time, and one of the reasons South Africa also saw no reason to keep their nuclear weapons. These three countries liked that idea, and to be fair, both the Russians and Americans were actually getting rid of a lot of weapons too. So since Russia was an expert at giving up a lot of weapons at the time, they offered to take back those weapons from the countries so that they could ultimately dismantle them themselves. Knowing what's happened in Ukraine since then, it's easy to laugh at Ukraine in hindsight for being so stupid and giving their nuclear weapons up. Plus, even ignoring that, they could have easily ignored Russia's sphere of influence with their nuclear deterrent altogether. But then, there's the second reason why they decide to give up on their weapons. They couldn't exactly use them. You see, back in the 1980s, these magical newfangled devices called computers began changing the world. And by the 1980s, most nuclear weapons had electronic controls with things like computerized control centers, passcodes for launch, and so on. So while these three countries had the physical weapons, all of the codes and fancy locks were still in Russia. Well, that's a letdown, isn't it? The third largest nuclear arsenal in the world, and they couldn't even use it themselves. So by 1995, Kazakhstan had given up its nuclear weapons to Russia, and by 1996, Belarus and Ukraine sighed and said, Fine, and they gave their weapons to Russia. So, for four to five years, these three countries were actual nuclear powers. They just didn't have the key.